All right, here we are. Welcome, everybody. It is sun came back out in Kansas City. We're here on a Friday and looking to see who's jumping on. If you can let me know if you're watching. I love when I see comments coming through. Tell me where you're watching from. It looks like we're just getting started. And today we're going to be talking about some really fun things that are going on. We have a big quilt show coming up in Kansas City. And this show is called the Kansas City Regional Quilt Guild Festival. Or no, the Regional Quilt Festival. And I see some people on, um, if you're there, definitely i'm looking for comments i'm going to see if we've got any comments coming through give me a hello uh and tell me where you're from watching all right there's james awesome thanks james from texas welcome love texas that's one of our, my uh another wonderful quilt festival happens in texas called the international um quilt market and quilt festival. I have loved going to that festival. And there we see somebody from Lebanon, Missouri. Welcome. Not too far down the road in Missouri. Welcome. There's Cindy. Excellent. Okay. It's cloudy in Iowa. Cindy, thanks for watching. Thanks again for all your help um, in the world of buttons. And welcome everybody. I have Michelle here helping me today. We are going to talk about the quilt show in Kansas City. And I also, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a giveaway today, an actual prize to one person. I decided today I'd talk about um, what you all have as a little gift. Um, and there's somebody from Madison, Wisconsin. Welcome. So this is the image that is on amyberrickman.com. It's a free printable for, we have Flag Day coming up in a little bit. I'll talk a little bit about the history of Flag Day. So uh, anyway, I wanted you to see, I wanted you guys to know that this image is, is, the, is there. If you, re, if you go and purchase it through the cart, you can download it. You could print it, make, you know, just put it on a clipboard like this and, and decorate or print it on fabric applique on a pillow. I think it'd even be cool on the back of a jean jacket. So, um, or make an iron on and wear it. Hey, as a t-shirt, uh, could be fun for 4th of July too. So there's, um, what you have for a free image and it's in the, if you go to amyberkman.com along the um, top of the navigation, you'll see, um, our library of digital images, and you can scroll down to free printables. And there's Sally watching from Florida. Thank you, Sally. And everybody, Michelle's here. Thanks to Michelle for helping. She's um, putting any notes or links in the comments. So we'll probably um, put a link to this image in the comments, and that'll help you easily find it. All right, let's see. Looks like we have a good crowd and everybody say hello if you're out there. Why don't we get started talking about, I thought we'd talk about the Quilt Festival first and foremost. So this is a show that's just down the road at the Overland Park Convention Center and it's running the 17th through the 19th. It is a, a show that has, and I have their little press release here, um, not only are do they well, they have 400 quilts from 13 participating guilds um, on display, from vintage to modern to traditionals. They'll have over 100 vendors with booths, and from sewing machines to um, quilt projects to embroidery. So it's not just quilting; it's a huge variety of um, product. And there's also a demonstration stage, which is free. So if you happen to be in Kansas City on the show floor, you'll be able to take advantage of these classes, these free classes. And um, 
I am actually doing two classes there, one on Thursday and one on Friday at um, 3.30, I believe. And um, so if you happen to be in Kansas City, in fact, comment if any of you are watching that are in Kansas City and planning to attend the show. I would love to know that. And please come by booth 538 and say hello if you're at the show. And I will tell you, I am excited. To, uh, also, I was reading the press release and um, co the coach of the Chiefs, uh, Andy Reid's wife, Tammy, has a vintage an antique quilt collection of her own. And it is one of the exhibits coming up that will be displayed at the show. So I was, I was kind of excited about that thinking I might, who knows, maybe I'll meet coach Reed and get a selfie with them there at um, the quilt festival. So if I do, I'll be sharing it with you guys. Okay. I'll give you all the details about this. Um, so, at the show, we are going to be sharing our Vintage Modern Maker workshop primers. And they're gonna be, these were these are three of the mini courses that have been part of our membership program. And because I'm going to the show, I thought, okay, this would be a great chance to display and um, share the opportunity that these classes or courses provide. Um, there are three that are going to be available, gingham, pearl button, and bandana. Uh, so today I'm going to give you a sneak peek at what is going to be available. Um, and there will be, we're about, um, they're going to open on Tuesday for purchase. So, and it'll be a limited window because again, this is a new journey for me, learning about memberships and online learning and online classes and all the video content. So virtual PDF and education. It's been really fun learning all this. And I this is just another opportunity to educate uh, people about what this these offer. So Yes, Michelle. Do let them know that anybody can purchase these. They're not limited to the show. Okay. okay. Oh, thank you, Michelle. These are open to everyone to purchase. So this is not just for people who are going to be at the show. At the show, I'm going to be displaying some of those projects and um, the different pieces of these and we'll have a little video loop showing some of the content so but keep in mind just be sure you're signed up for my newsletter at amyberrickman.com and we will be telling you more about the the workshops and when they release um, so you can be right there to join and enjoy all of the benefits so let's i'm going to show you a few of the projects for fun okay so, and I'm sure many of you are curious, if you're not in the membership, you you may have heard about it and wonder, I wonder, you know, I wonder what Amy's up to. Well, Pearl Button is, um, was the original course that, or workshop, and this is the Pearl Button and Patchwork pouch, pouch. So each of these workshops has a, a sewing project in it. And um, this is the sewing project. But the fun thing about um, the workshops is I like to share more than just one, one, you know, one concept for the pattern. Here you can see where we, this is one Mary made where she actually upcycled a dress or scarf with the same pattern. So you're going to get a lot of value in these workshops because you're going to learn through both video and PDF instructions are both included. And then we're going to inspire you with a lot of different opportunities to create these projects with different fabrics, different techniques, even different little ideas for, um, say, the closure or the um, uh, little we did this as a tassel in the primer, but you know, this was such a cute idea that Mary came up with, with lace and the pearl button. So we also feature artists in these, in these courses and interviews. And they're some of the most fun um, that I have. And this is 
This is Jenny Allen. She was our artist for the Pearl Button course, and she does wonderful dolls and wonderful art where she features pearl buttons. So um, this is, and I, you know why I bought this guy? He's Jack the cat. So you might know my son's Jack. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take Jack home with me. So pearl buttons, I also share a lot about the history of the notion or fabric that is the theme or topic for the workshop. These are some of the um, pieces in my collection. This is actually a salesman sample showing uh, Lady Washington buttons, the button cards and the graphics. Um, and then of course, if you love pearl buttons, you know about the smoky buttons. Here's some gorgeous smokies. So, you know, we show projects using all sorts of pearl buttons in that primer workshop. Then uh, moving on to gingham, in gingham, we have made this cute little work bag and it, it's a perfect size for an embroidery hoop to fit into and it. it, it ha look at this cute pocket. So this was actually an upcycled apron, a gingham apron. You may have seen the hundreds of them. I think I found over 800 of them on eBay that um, were made back in the, you know, they're vintage. So um, keep in mind when you're out thrifting, that's the focus of the, the what we do in the workshops. We'd like to find treasures that are in our, you know, the back of our closet or in a drawer that are not being enjoyed. And we want to bring them into our mar modern life and make something useful, purposeful, and, you know, pretty, fun and charming. So, and many times we can do that with even a family textile that maybe was, um, you know, a dresser scarf grandma made or um, an apron like this. And with the gingham, I also, this gave me a chance to talk about what I call the inspirational reading that comes in these workshops. This is an example of an article called The House in Gingham Summer Dress. So this is a an article from a vintage magazine. I have a wonderful collection of vintage uh, home arts magazines, needlework magazines, decorating magazines. And I curate the articles and find articles that relate to our particular themes. This is um, one on decorating. I also, you know, discover um, items that may have been vintage design that can be brought into modern projects. And this is a, in some of the primers, there's bonuses or the workshops. And this is one for again, using gingham and making this fun pot holder with what you may know as chicken scratch, the, the method of using one color embroidery on gingham was super popular starting in the depression. So um, I'm gonna take a quick minute and say hi to a few people. I see Sherry, hi Sherry, I see Kate, and I see Marcy. I see my regulars out there. And if any of you are members and have enjoyed the, you know, the Vintage Modern Maker material, please share your enjoyment in the comments. Let others know how much fun and what value this um, creative material can bring and how you can really use it and, and enjoy it. And in, it inspires you to get creative and, and reach into some of your treasured textiles to, to design. One more quick um, note on the, the content that will be available in the workshop. The bandana primer is the third and final of the mem membership content that we are releasing. Again, if you're just joining us, we're releasing three online workshops and they will be pearl button, gingham and bandana. And we're doing it for a limited time. So Again, this is a special occasion because we actually are going to be out setting up a booth at the quilt festival that's happening in Kansas City at the uh, June 17th through 19th at the Overland Park Convention Center. So bandana 
is um, I'm going to show you a little bit about Bandana. And in that, I'm going to show you the printable. Um, so this is part of the content is um, you, you, there will be designs, embroidery designs that come in some of our workshops. And um, the main sewing project in this uh, particular primer is a really fun topper, actually a, a garment that can be made from bandanas, three extra large bandanas made into this fun topper. So, um, and one more item that comes in these courses is heirloom art. And this is the heirloom art that is included with the bandana primer. And the idea is with that is that I'll give you various ideas, craft ideas to make things with these primers and um, printing on fabric, maybe adding embroidery, making you imagine these embellishing jeans, um, denim and, you know, with quick with the pearl button primer, you the heirloom art was actually um, these button cards that could be printed and then you could stitch your own buttons on these. Um, but you also get the version with the buttons. So there's really some fun, creative possibilities with these workshops. And I'm thrilled to be able to have this chance to offer them in person at the show to those who can be there. And if you can't be there, of course, they'll be available online as well. Uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the show. And again, it's gonna be wonderful. There's gonna be exhibits, over a hundred booths of people there. And the other thing special I'm doing at the show is if you come by the booth, you, I have, pearl buttons to share. And this is a little envelope that if you are in our, come to the booth and sign up for our newsletter, or you tell me you're on the list, uh, we'll give you some pearl buttons to take home. Um, and you'll also be inspired with a project. Robin is helping me make some really simple pearl button projects that you could use these buttons for to create with. So I'll share those in the live. So if you can't get to the show, never fear. We will, we will, um, I will bring those to you. And we may even, Michelle and I have talked about, we may even go live from the show floor, right, Michelle? Is that what we're thinking? Maybe so if we can swing it, um, we'll do that next week. Um, so just keep that in mind. And there's Deborah. Thanks, Deborah. She said, you have greatly enjoyed the membership. I have so loved the primer or pearl button pouch that I've already made six of them. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that comment and sharing that, Deborah. Six of them. That is fantastic. That's what we love about it. We like the idea too that we're, we actually take one of our um, membership primers and we can apply it to another. So for instance, this is this was the gingham primer, but I know many people decided to use the pouch, the pearl button and make a gingham, use gingham to make this project. So there's so many ways that you can cross, kind of cross pollinate what you learn and extend it beyond just the one, um, course or workshop that we have. Thank you so much for that comment, Deborah. I appreciate it. And again, let's mention Flag Day. So here's your image, if you guys, that is available for free on amyberkman.com in the free printables category. So don't miss this. And again, since it's Flag Day is coming up the 14th, I'm also going to share with you a really cool flag from my collection. So, and I'm thinking I may take this, this wonderful piece of vintage down to the show with me. It's kind of hard to show this, isn't it? There we go. How about that? Woo. Um, so I just love this flag and I love the idea of decorating flat with flags. I don't know if that's something you do, but it's, it's, 
it's a fun treasure hunt to look for flags when you're at vintage um, sales or antique shops. And it's just a classic, timeless, you know, iconic decorating theme for us here in America. And that reminds me, this was what I talked about last live. Um, and this is an image that's also on amyberrickman.com, but I thought he's real photo. So he's a real photo image, which I got into in my last primer, kind of educating you a little bit about this type of postcard and the art and when it was popular. So if you missed my last live, you can always go into the, you, you can go to YouTube, the YouTube channel and see my previous lives. And you can also get those um, on in the Vintage Modern Makers group, the Facebook group. That's a free Facebook group. If you haven't joined it, it's a great, great place. Vintage Made Modern. Oh, Vintage Made Modern. Okay, see, thank you, Michelle. Um, so Michelle's helping me too down at the, at the convention center. She's the technology amazing skill um, and talent and design talent that has really the reason I'm here and able to do this. So, um, you know, everybody thank Michelle, please. And if you get to the show, look for her and, uh, and really, I really, really appreciate all she's done. And, and Mary Meyer has been a huge help in this, um, journey of vintage modern makers and my mom, Donna, I'm not sure if she's out there watching today. So, um, and then Sally mentioned, I love the live also. My favorite project is the tomato pin cushion and all the history that you give. Keep up the great job. Thank you, Sally. That is so nice of you. I appreciate you sharing the history piece because that really is, there's so much we can learn together and be inspired. And since you brought up the tomato, I happened to bring Tommy with me. Here he is. I did bring him. I was gonna hold him off for next, next time, but I'll go ahead and share him. So this is one of the um, workshops that's not available yet, but it will be in the future. And um, Tommy is based off of some artwork in a children's book uh, called the Mary Francis and Thimble Friends. So I'm showing this thanks to Sally for mentioning how much she enjoyed this project. Well, let's see. Quick note on Flag Day. I wanted to give you a little holiday history. So I looked up some notes on Flag Day. And the cool thing about Flag Day um, is it was founded in 1877, 100 years after the first flag resolution passed. And we all um, know that it was it was in 1777 that Betsy Ross received the order from George Washington to make Washington to make the first flag, and that's one of our wonderful iconic sewing stories that I think we all can connect with our enjoyment for flags and that those were handmade, which we all love handmade. Um, and the interesting thing was um, a gentleman named Bernard was known as father of Flag Day. And he was a school teacher who lobbied um, Congress for many years to make Flag Day a, a an official holiday to be observed. And um, so, yeah, I thought that was really, really fun. And there is still a flag festival I read about that happens at Betsy, the Betsy Ross house. So if anybody's in Philadelphia and gets a chance to go to the flag festival, that sounded like someplace I'd like to go and maybe take everybody on a field trip one of these years to the flag festival to learn more about Betsy Ross and sewing the flag. So again, let's see, I think we're about out of time and Rose is here from Kans from Lawrence, Kansas. She's my fellow Jayhawk. Thanks, Rose. I'm glad you made it to the Facebook Live. And there's Carolyn Hoosier. Thanks for joining. You're a little late, but you're here now. Thanks so much, Carolyn. You know, everybody, if you got on late, you can always um, watch the replay from the beginning and watch it later too. If you don't have time every, you know, when I'm here on Fridays, um, 
you can watch the replays. And I do try to post that on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if you are on Instagram, I'm Amy Berrickman Studio. And if you're on Facebook, it's the Vintage Made Modern Facebook group or Amy Berrickman Studio. So again, everyone, I'm going to ask Michelle one last time. Oh, and the quilts in the background. I did want to say I am going to have some really great quilts on display at the Quilt Festival since it is a quilt festival. Um, so come see those. And anything else you can think of? I think so. All right. Well, one last note. Somebody said her grandparents' wedding anniversary was on Flag Day. That that was Donna's comment. Oh, that's Your, Donna. Yeah. That's my mom. Your grandparents. Oh, my grandparents. I didn't remember that, Mom. Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to pull out their wedding picture. I have that wonderful wedding picture that you've given me. So, yes, I will wish them a be thinking of my grandparents on flag day so everyone it's been fun i hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and we're getting some, uh, some laughing emojis okay <laughs> and i'm getting a little warm here it's getting hot in kansas city you guys so everybody um hope you can stay cool or go for a swim this weekend um I'm going to be working in the garage setting up our booth for the festival next week. So wish me luck, everybody. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. So long. Or see you at the show next week.